Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rico Richardson and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is all about helping you guys edit your photos and your videos professionally, but for free. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this episode. I'm going to show you guys how to edit your landscape photo like a professional. Let's go. And this is the image that we're going to work with. Now, let me show you guys a before and after. So here's the before. And now I'm going to reveal the after for you guys. And as you can see, it's got a lot more contrast. It's a lot more colorful. And I'm going to teach you guys how to do so. So now make sure you select the orientation module and you hit the compress history stack. And then if all goes well, this is what you should see. Now let's start working on this image. And before we're going to start, I'm going to show you guys how to put a module in your favorites. So let me search for the exposure module because that's the first module that we're going to use. And then if you click these three dashes over here, you can select favorite and that will make sure that the module will pop up in your favorites. I'm going to put all the modules in my favorites and then I'm going to continue on this image. So now I've put all the modules in my favorites and let's say you've got a module over here you don't want in your favorites anymore because you won't be needing it for this photo. Let me show you guys by hitting these three dashes and then select favorites again and it'll be gone from your favorites menu. So let me place that one back real quick, local contrast and let's move on. So the first thing I'm going to address is the exposure because even though the image is pretty properly exposed, if you ask me, we don't really have clipped highlights or clipped shadows. I do want to bring the black point a little bit more to the left so that it gets some more contrast as well. We will be addressing the contrast in a minute, but first let me address the uh, black point. So I'm going to activate the exposure. I'm just going to move my mouse wheel button away from me. And you see that this is starting to move to the left. And if you move it towards you, it starts to move to the right. So let me put it back. There you go. So now we've changed the black level a little bit. And that's all we're going to do with the exposure module. So let us close that one down and move on to the colors. And I'm going to use the color lookup table for that. And the first thing I want to address is I want to address the sky and I want to address the water. So what I'm going to do is I think this will be the color. So I'm just going to increase the saturation of that just a little bit. And you already see the sky changing and I'm going to keep it like this. And now I want to address the water. And for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new instance and I'm going to create a mask. So I'm going to hit the symbol new instance and you see color lookup table one. If you want to change the name, hit the control, click it. And now we can say that we're going to change the water or we're just going to call this water or whatever you want to call it. So now it's called color lookup table water. And now we're going to address the water. So first we're going to click the drawn mask button and we're going to scroll down and you see that there's no mask being used in this image. We're going to change that by selecting the path tool. I'm going to click that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click around the water pretty roughly uh, because we will be feathering it out just a little bit and I'm going to keep this bush in. Uh, you can work with a parametric mask as well if you want to but for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to do it as is and I want to change the blues in this image. So for that what I want to do is I want to hit the color checker path and by default it's select to point. Now I don't want it to be selected as a point, I want an area. So for that what you need to do is, let me close down the duplicate manager. You're going to the color picker, you're going to change the point to area and now you can select an area. So now that we've done that, I'm going to hit the shift, click inside here and this is the color of the water. And I want to increase the blues of the water a little bit, there we go. And it's way too much because that doesn't look natural so let me change this manually. Maybe add in some greens. There we go. And this is usually a trial and error to see what looks good. But I think that this looks pretty natural. We will be seeing some more of this after we add some more saturation. But the color of the water already has changed to a lot more natural color. Let me show you guys by 
deactivating this module so it's very gray it doesn't have any color in it and i'm going to activate it and now we've brought the color back and don't forget let's scroll down and we're going to feather it and blur it just a little bit there we go so we won't see any artifacts so now let us continue with the image so let me close this one down and let's move on to the color balance module i'm going to activate that one and with this module i'm going to add in some contrast and i'm going to do so by clicking this symbol so it'll select the entire image and it says contrast fulcrum so it says adjust to match a neutral tone and now what i can do is just increase the contrast of this image to make it come alive i'm going to do so by quite a bit that might be a little bit too strong there you go and you can move these sliders to work on the tonality of the color so uh this is the shadows lift offset and then we've got the midtones gamma power uh, and then we've got the highlights gain and slope there you go so let me double click it to reset it same goes for the midtones because i won't be working on those but i am going to bring down the shadows just a little bit to darken it a little bit more and to give it some more contrast so that's it for the color balance module now let me close that one down and so let me show you guys one more thing though in the color balance module you can uh change the saturation so you can change the saturation before the color balance and you can change the saturation after the color balance so now that we've adjusted some of the things uh if i move this to the right the saturation is being increased and if i move this to the left it's being decreased after working on the contrast and stuff like that let me double click it to keep everything as is i'm going to close this one down i'm going on to the next module and the next one is the local contrast one i'm just going to activate it i'm not going to change anything in the values and now what i want to do is i want to add some lens correction because i see some vignetting over here and it looks like it's bent outwards so i'm going to counteract that by activating the lens correction module now everything is nice and straightened out it looks normal it doesn't look bent anymore and there's three more modules that i want to use the first one is the denoise module so that'll take care of the noise in this image let me zoom in for you guys so uh, if i deactivate it you see a lot of noise here color noise and i'm going to activate it and now it's gone but this tends to soften the image a little bit and I'm going to counteract that by just activating the sharpen module. Now let me go back to fit the screen. You can do so by clicking this symbol, fit the screen. And then the last one I want to use is the retouch module. And the reason being is because for some reason, I don't like this spot over here. So let me activate that one and let me just click this circle button. I'm going to click it, hold it. And then move it a little bit to the right or to the left. It doesn't matter or top or bottom. Just make sure that you're very close to the area that you're going to use the retouch module on. Going to click it. And now you see that now it's gone. It looks nice and natural. So let me go back, fit the screen. There you go. And now the spot is gone. So if you pay close attention, you see that here's the spot right now. And if I activate it. The spot is gone it's very tiny but it was distracting for me and now it looks as it should be and once again let me show you guys before and after so i'm going to take a snapshot and i'm going to make sure that i select the orientation step and let's see so here we have the original image and now i'm moving this to the right and there you go just look at that absolutely amazing the sky is popping the mountains are popping everything is sharp everything is in focus and I absolutely love this end result. And that's it. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you would like to see more of me, please click this playlist over there. You'll see more Darktable videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking this button over there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!